Hi there, welcome back to another Bob Blast. I'm Bob Burries here in my studio, and as promised, the last demonstration, I showed you how I do my drip trees. Here I have a vertical wall, what we did on the last one, a very vertical wall. I put orange down first as the under color, that was my gesso, and then I started to drip an awful lot of very wet, juicy acrylic paint all over this whole piece of paper here. Kilimanjaro watercolor paper and let it drip down and by golly I hope there's some trees in there somewhere. Let me show you what I do next So starting with a wide brush not a tiny little brush. I mix on the table here a whole lot of titanium white big piles of it and a little bit of blue Wet your brush always wet your brush nice and gooey. Yeah, look at that now the white paint of course is going to make this opaque That's the whole idea so having the white opaque, a little bit of blue in there too, I'm gonna to get rid of the parts that don't look like trees. Wish me luck, here we go. Really wet. Make the skyline interesting. That's what I'm gonna start off with first. Pretty exciting here. Negative shape painting, that's what this is called, right? I'll just get maybe that far. So that's kind of more interesting than just straight across. More water. More water, uh-oh, uh it's dripping down already. This is the way I like to paint. You know, this isn't gonna work for everybody, but this is the way I like to paint. So try it. Here we go. Much more interesting tree line. Top. Make it certainly not all even. There we go, that's kind of an interesting top part. Now let me get underneath the trees and try and find some tree trunks in here somewhere. Here we go, using the same color. Here we go. Wide brush. Lots of paint on it. That's all you got, paint. So use lots of paint. Don't be so stingy here. This is where we get to make it all up. Remember I put a, a ground here last time. So these are trees going into the ground, of course. There we go. Negative shape painting. You know, I always like to say, if you have to be sure of the end result, don't be a painter. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. But I'm gonna make sure it's interesting to look at, too, at the same time. See, here we go, we're starting to develop some of those trees. There's nothing there. There we go. Exciting, huh? It's just like watching somebody knit. Here we go. Your job as a painter is to make it exciting. Oh, this is gonna be an interesting little section in here. See, the tree is starting to come, come alive here a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I try not to make it too even. That'd be too boring. There we go. Hardly anything happening right there. More pain. Oh, yeah. Negative shape of painting. You start to see it a little bit, can't you? I see it. There's some trees in there somewhere. Negative shape painting. You know, I'm gonna keep on going, but what I'm gonna do is continue this, okay, let it dry, and then come back and put a second coat, maybe an orange coat on top of that, on top of that, kind of like sunset, sunrise, gives a little more power to it right now. So right now, I'm only concerned about the silhouette of the tree line. That's what I'm working on right now. And notice that one of the things I like to do is have different cadence, so to speak. Don't have them all evenly spaced. Let Mother Nature do all that kind of good stuff, right? There we go. Pretty, pretty basic stuff, negative shape painting. And we'll see where all this is gonna go. So I'm standing back and looking at this and Ask myself, what does it need more? Well, more layers of color. So, dark blue, dark green, mixing up an awful lot of, there's that beautiful peacock blue. Nice, wet, more, more layers. Oh, man. This peacock blue happens to be a translucent color, so I can still see some of the colors underneath it. More water. That's the only way it's gonna drip down. 
warm water, see? This is not the time to be really neat. <laughs> neat, this does not count. I'm adding more colors into here. So between you and me, together, we're gonna see this thing develop. Help it along a little bit. Really incredibly wet. And again, let some of those other colors peek through. That's what gives it that layered look. And I think this is what makes the painting so exciting to look at. If your painting looks like that the artist had a good time doing it, that's kind of the, what I'm trying to project here. You don't want to bore people into looking at your painting. You want them to say, wow, you're just having way too much fun. That means I'm doing my job. See how you let some of those other colors come through? It's one of the advantages here of using transparent paints. Develop the baseline again, even more so. Big, wide brushes, not these tiny little two hair brushes. Lots of colors, more. And we'll let that dry. And I'm going to put another layer on and then go back and do some more uh, negative shape painting. So continuing the build up, letting it dry in between, I'm going to, oh, let's use some red color in here. I've added some water, make this really juicy. Really, really juicy and drippy. And I need to think about where I want to put up. There we go. That's gonna be my focal point at this point. See, dripping down. Dripping down here. And I'll put a yellow in here. Well, this thing's gonna change a whole lot. You know, wish me luck, as we say. <laughs> and there we go. It's fun to paint this way. You know, we don't know how it's ever gonna turn out. If you have to be sure of the end result, don't be a painter like this. I'm enjoying the discovery the whole time. Here I'm mixing a little bit of ultramarine blue, some hot pink, put some in there too. Really drop it, let it drip down. Put some way over here too. Work all over the entire surface, all at the same time. Don't stay in one place too long. Also, if I use the color over here, I'm going to put it somewhere else too. Helps to hold the whole thing together. Look at all these tree trunks starting to develop. Let's go over here. I've been avoiding this area for a while. It's time. It's feeling so lonely. There we go. I'm building it up, building it up, and oh, I have a little surprise to show you too. Put some more color in here. More color in here. Here comes the surprise. Rubbing alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol. I have it in a squirt bottle right here. And this opens it up a little bit and helps to drip it down even more. Even more sky holes. Look at this. Isn't that amazing to get this, these little bubbles in here? And it only works if it's really wet. So squirting it. And don't put uh, the alcohol in those little misters, little tss, 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 because it vaporizes and gets into your lungs. You want a steady stream of isopropyl alcohol. Oh, look at what I'm doing over here. Woo-hoo. <laughs> I'm gonna tone it down in some areas. I don't want it to be always so bright all over the place. I'll come back. Oh, this is gonna be cool. I'm always building it up. Always building it up. We'll let this dry, I'll be right back. We'll see what we do next. So at this point, I've decided I need a little bit of black in this painting. Black paint. Here we go. Squeeze that thing out. Got a big pile of it wet. Make sure it's drippy. I need something red put in here. It's important to stand back every once in a while and look at what it is that you're doing. Or what the painting's doing. I'm going to make some of the tree trunks a little more obvious. Remember, and this part's kind of a neat thing to remember is that dark colors come forward, light colors recede. We all know that stuff, right? So now I'm starting to get some depth. Let's 
See how the dark ones come from? One right in here. And there we go. Oh gosh, this is so cool. Lots of different shapes, different tempos, so to speak. Don't have them all evenly spaced. And what I'm going to be doing with this next little phase, I'll finish it up with more negative shape painting. In other words, I'm gonna start painting the background again. Bring it all forward. You're probably asking yourself, I sure hope he pulls this thing off. I hope I pull this thing off. <laughs> Ask me if I'm having a good time. Uh, yeah. There we go. Remember, this is all about drip trees. I'm not trying to make this perfect forest. Make it exciting to look at. Color everywhere. Bring it out. There we go. You know, there's all kinds of ways of doing this. This is the way I like to do it. On a vertical wall, let it drip down, let it dry in between, and then I'm going to finish it off, but coming back, as I said, doing the negative shape painting. There's a forest in here somewhere. Let's watch. So this is the final phase. Recalling that I call this tree line first. I always name my paintings first, and then when it matches the title, the painting's done. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the parts that don't look like trees. Here we go. Negative shape painting. Whoa. I'm doing the top part first. This bright color. It's opaque. And that's the thing that's so nice about opaque paints is you get rid of the parts underneath they don't fit in making the top of the tree is kind of exciting there we go there we go see it's not always the same now how about underneath here we go leave some of those tiny drips they look like trees from way far away here we go remember the dark colors come forward The light colors recede, they go way back there. there I'm gonna get rid of that one. There we go. Nice big trunk here. It's like, it's like clearing out the forest. <laughs> Put in a couple of branches like this, there we go. Softening the edges with your fingers. There we go. See how that opens it up? And again, different thicknesses, different heights. I'll get rid of that one. I'll get rid of that one too. There we go. Softer as we go further away. And I'll do one more over here. Get rid of some bodies. Cool. Let some of those other colors peek through. It may not make a lot of sense, but it sure makes the painting a lot more exciting to look at. For me, oh, here we go. Whew. Bring it down into here a little bit more. You're constantly editing. You're always looking at different ways of doing this. Well, let's, let's see what it looks like when you do this. Let's see what it looks like if it does this. It's nothing but a series of what if. What if I try this? What if I do that? How cool is that? All right. I'm gonna lower this down here a little bit so it does it look straight across, like straight across. There we go. A little bit of a dip. Oh, there's some blue trees way in the back. Look at that. Way in the back. Here. here we go. And one more over here, maybe. And crazy, isn't it? Yeah. And that's the way I like it. <laughs> and while you're doing this, make sure you keep smiling. 
it drives everybody else nuts, okay? So you're just having this way too much fun. And as I like to say, when it matches the title, this painting is done. Open it up a little bit more. It's some sky holes. So they don't look like a bunch of lollipops. Open it up a little bit more like that. Also allows the birds to fly through. There we go. And then with this, this all dried, I'll put some varnish on it, and that's another whole story. But this is how I do my tree line paintings. Lots of drips, lots of color, negative shape painting when it's all done. And eventually, you can make a whole bunch of small ones, like this one right here. So this is great fun. Try it. I'll see you on the next Bob Blast. Even though I said I was finished, I just want to put one little spot that is the brightest spot because again, what I'm attempting to do here is trees that are backlit. So this kind of lighting looks like early in the morning or late in the afternoon. So I'm going to have one spot that's really bright, really bright. And that kind of allows it to be even more dramatic. So I'm putting some white in here. Maybe some in here. It's like the sun's just setting or just coming up. Look at that. Now that forest is on fire. Woo. There we go. And not all the way across. Just in one little section. Get down in here too. Again, going after contrast. Hey, I hope you had a good time. I had a great time doing this. Try it. You'll like it. That's another way of doing it. Enjoy the landscape. Painting. Tree line.